Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan na ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami, si J.C. Bautista. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. Magandang umaga po. Monday na naman po. Natapos na naman ang weekend. Happy, happy Monday. Welcome to Buhay Online. Yes, I trust that everyone had a uh, enjoyable, restful, kung ano mang way nyo po na spend yung weekend nyo. Uh, ako po, I had a good weekend. A very, very, uh, I should say, relaxing weekend. Tsaka po, nagkaroon po kami ng mga magandang events sa family, dito sa aking family, my NACA family here in Pampanga. Congratulations to uh, Jamil, Bamba, and Hazel uh, on the gender reveal of their baby girl. Congratulations. Uh, at saka, uh, po, na kahit na sa balita po, eh, tumataas yung number of infections na ano pa, nasa safe level pa naman po tayo. According to the World Health Organization, we're still below 5% nung uh, alert level. So, patuloy pa rin po tayong mag-wear mag ng masks when we have to go out, especially to public places and keep social distancing because ano po eh, uh, hold on a second please, okay? I'll just check on something. I will be right back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry po, alam niyo po naman po all around. I actually am uncooking ang pang ano, toka sa lunch today. <laughs> But anyway, I'm making shabu-shabu. We have shabu-shabu for lunch. Seafood na seafood shabu-shabu and then also when I seafood kami at saka I made chili uh, prawn, prawn chili uh, chili prawns garlic prawn shrimps no? ano ba yan garlic prawns Gar chili garlic prawns um, po ang ginawa ko cooked in aligi diba deadly <laughs> I made chili garlic prawns in um, crab fat aligi right Anyway, so first order of the day. Uh, news from coming from ano po ito, uh, United States President Joseph Biden po has an open invitation for President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. to visit uh, the White House. Ito po sinabi ni Philippine Ambassador to the U.S. Jose Manuel Romualdez sa kahapon, no? Romaldez confirmed in an interview that in a letter written by Biden to Marcos, the former has extended an invitation to Marcos and his family to come to Washington. The ambassador said the invitation was relayed by Biden through U.S. Second Gentleman Douglas M. Hoff, Biden's special envoy, during Marcos's inauguration of the 17th Philippine President as Philip, the 17th Philippine President last June 30. Sinabi po ni M. Hoff, siya po ay nagdala ng personal letter written by President Biden to President Marcos. In that letter, 
Sinabi po that he congratulated the new president and at least he hopes to speak to him again, might phone sometime soon, but also invited him to come to Washington. The Maldives said uh, in an open interview on One News. So it's really an open invitation for President Marcos to come to the White House. Romualdez, who was tapped by Marcos to remain as the Philippine ambassador to the U.S., okay, uh, under this term, said that the president wants to check domestic issues first before embarking on a trip to the U.S. Of course, I asked him how soon would he like to go because I'd like to see you there as soon as possible. He said that let me just look at the domestic problems first and see the things before we start taking up traveling. Romualdez said. The Filipino diplomat also said that there will be no problem if Marcos visits the U.S., citing his full diplomatic immunity, which the U.S. also assured shortly after Marcos won the elections. A head of state has full diplomatic immunity. There will be no problem whatsoever, sabi to ni Romualdez, no? He also revealed that Marcos is also looking into visiting other ASEAN countries which is also part of the diplomatic efforts to introduce him formally to many of those important allies, but visiting the U.S. is very much in the radar. The United States is very much in the radar, and, and, it's very, and the United States is very eager to have President Marcos come to the United States. During the visit of U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman in the Philippines last month, she addressed the issue saying that, uh, despite the contempt order against Marcos, which prevented him from traveling to a foreign country for years, the president has immunity and circumstance and is welcome to the United States uh, in his official role. Okay. Uh, okay. So there you go about that. All right. Uh, uh, on another note, okay. Yun po, di ba? Yung Omicron virus nagsispread, meron tayong pinag-uusapan naman na UK monkey pox. Ito, pag-usapan natin itong mga virus situation, COVID, hindi ito COVID. Pag-usapan natin yung monkey pox na yan. Every time I look at this, nakinangate ko. <laughs> Kasi parang chicken pox to, hindi imis na chicken pox, monkey pox. Nay, oh, nakakakate, look at the picture. Oh my gosh. I'm cringing, nangangate ko. Okay. In this file, photo taken to June, to last June 2022. Ito po ay made available by the UK Health Security Agency. It shows a collage of monkeypox rash lesions at an undisclosed date and location. As the lone laboratory manufacturing a licensed vaccine against monkeypox, okay, yan pong itsura nan. British monkeypox patients are exhibiting symptoms that differ from previous outbreaks. The first study examining UK cases said on Friday, leading researchers nangangateko to look at it, to call for the definition of the disease to be updated. I'm sorry, ako po just looking at that picture. Until a few months ago, monkeypox has been largely confined to West and Central Africa, where new outbreaks were mostly caused by humans being infected with a virus by animals like rodents, mga baga. But since May, more than 3,400 cases have been recorded worldwide. The large majority of them in Western Europe. Oh, please, huwag yun spread naman sa Asia. Among men who have sex with men. Oh my God. Yeah. spread yeah. And have no known links to the sub-Saharan African cases. Britain detected some of the earliest new global cases and the first study into patients there was published in the Lancet Infectious Diseases Journal on Friday. The researchers analyzed 54 monkeypox patients in London, all men who have sex with men, who represented 60% of UK cases as of May 26. All but two were unaware they had been in contact with someone who had monkeypox. A quarter of the men were HIV positive, and a quarter had sexually transmitted disease while they had monkeypox. All patients had skin lesions, of which 94% were in the genital and anal areas. Oh my lord. Well, kumakain po kayo pasintabi. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Okay? These factors suggest that the virus is being transmitted, uh, transmitted during skin to skin contact as during sex. The World Health Organization is investigating cases of semen testing positive for monkeypox, but has maintained that the virus is not sexually transmitted 
and it's primarily spread through close contact. So, eh, ano nga yun? Only 57% of the UK cases suffered fevers compared to 85 to 100% of cases and outbreaks before this year. Previous outbreaks also saw for more lesions on limbs, faces, and necks. However, in three quarters of the UK cases, lesions were only one or two areas, mostly around the genital area. The UK patient also had my, mostly mildly cases lasting fewer than three days, with just five being hospitalized. And you can death defying. The study's lead author, Nicolo Deronetti, said that the UK's definition of monkeypox symptoms, which describes it as an acute illness with a fever, should be reviewed to best adapt to current findings. Kasi nga, itong last na tines, wala namang severe symptoms. At least one in, in six of this cohort could have met the current probable case definition. Paul Hunter, an expert in infectious diseases at British University of East Anglia, not involved in the study, said he did not think the UK needs to change its monkeypox definition because it is currently very broad. Okay? So any new skin rash in a man who has sex with men should prompt consideration for monkeypox testing in the current climate. So, uh, hindi naman pala to ano, to, aka, aka, ano parang COVID, sexually transmitted diseases ito, or SDD, right? All right. Okay, so yan po. Okay, yan po ang ating balita. Tento doon na. Ah. Hmm. So, We're now gonna talk about ito po, traveling naman, no? Matagal na itong news ko na ito. Last week ko pa gusto ito again. It's so, it's so funny, okay? These, here are, I want to share, okay? 20 secrets that flight attendants in the airlines don't want you to know. Diba? Kasi may, may nagpadala sa akin ito ng itong uh, kaalaman na ito na gusto ko i-share sa inyo. Kasi it's really interesting and funny. But let me just get it first. Tanggalin ko na ito, please, dahil uh, it's disturbing. So, tayo mo tanggal. Okay, alright. So, let's talk about, yeah, this travel. Many secrets of flight attendants, that airline uh, flight attendants don't want, probably don't want to know. Okay, let's, let's find out what this is about. Okay, flight attendants may give you service with a smile. So, isipin nyo, ha? But it can be a very different story once they're out of sight of passengers. Hala. Perhaps it's because the mga cabin crew uh, know many things we don't, right? Just like how filthy the seats are, for example. That's one shocking secret, but insiders have spilled many more. By the time you read what they have to say, you might want to take that trip using the bus or the train. Okay, okay. Okay, let's start from number, I'm going to tell you 20 things, okay? Umpisahan po natin. I would like to welcome those people watching the show. Welcome po, welcome po. I don't see the names, pero maraming salamat po sa pagsama niyo sa akin ngayon. Okay, let's start from number 20. Okay, I, again, what I'm talking to, uh, to you about is secrets flight attendants that airline, secrets from flight attendants that airlines probably don't want you to know, okay? So, ito po ang... In a, some of flight attendants spilled the bean. Hmm. Hi. Okay. 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 Next week, I'm going to feature something about ano, cancer and cigarettes. <laughs> Para ma ma magpaalala sa mga ano na yan. Kakatawa because uh, there's a, a bit of ano lang, sideline na news. No? In, in Japan, they're going, yung mga cigarette companies, they're going to put down uh, on each cigarette, a sign that says, parang ganun yung uh, poison, cigarette is poison, something. They're gonna put uh, mga letra about cigarette to remind people how dangerous it is. Cigarettes. Pero tingnan natin kung effective yan. Diba kasi ngayon yung mga box ng cigarette, may mga pictures about cancer. But it doesn't deter naman the people from smoking and pa kayang lalagay sa cigarette mismo. Well, let's see. Okay. Going back to my topic, right? The 20 secrets that uh, the airlines probably don't want you to know. This is coming from flight attendants, okay? Okay, flight attendants judge what you're wearing. So, mga, mga pasaheros daw. Sinajudge daw ng mga flight attendants na ang uh, pasahero. For example, don't put uh, on your go-to-travel t-shirt and sweatpants. 
even if you're on a long haul journey. Eh, but most people do. A a home, America to the uh, to the states, de ba? Ano? Jeans lang, chaka t-shirt na white. Because you have to be comfortable, especially on a long trip. So bakit siya nasabi to? Don't go put on your travel t-shirt and sweatpants. Si Rufa nga yung mga anak niya pag nagka-travel, nakapadyama pag pa-uwi. <laughs> Kasi natutulog naman doon ng 16-hour flight, right? Tsaka susundin naman ang kotse. I mean, who cares, right? So, well, anyway, itong sinasabi dito, don't put on your go-to-travel t-shirt and sweatpants, even if you're on a long-haul journey. Why? Well, this kind of relaxed attire may cost you when it comes to customer service. Yep, one flight attendant claims that the way you... You're treated on a plane may depend on how good you look. Ah, judgmental. Judgmental to na mga, na mga, ano, flight attendant. Feeling nila pulubi ka kung nakaganon ka itsura. So, hindi ka masyadong to treat like a VIP. Ay, masama naman yun. Okay? Alright? Next. Kasi, no, in her book, The Do's and Don'ts of Flying, A Flight Attendant's Guide to Travel Secrets, Stephanie Rivers wrote, I first noticed how passengers are dressed. Some people dress as if they made an effort uh, to put forth a positive impression. Others look as if they grabbed clothes off the floor and ran out of the house. And she goes to admit that one crew more likely to be uh, is, to, is to be nicer than the smarter looking people. That makes sense, but that doesn't seem to be fair. Hindi talaga fair at all. Kasi nga, ang sa- kung ikaw na may pasahero, nagbayad ka ng mahal na pet, wala kang pakira ng business class ko or not. Gusto ko mag-behest the way I want to, to behest, di ba? The way I'm comfortable in a 16-hour flight. Hello? Walang naman, makialam naman itong mga flight attendant na to sa itsura ng damit, right? Judgmental nga. Okay, so that's number 20. Uh, 19. The call bell on, can be their nemesis. Meaning, enemy. Nemesis means enemy. The call bell can be their nemesis. Yung, yung ilaw button na pag ino-order mo, ino-order Pinatawag mo yung flight attendant. Okay, that call bell, right? Pretty handy when you're up in the air, but spare a thought for your flight attendant. Before you order that fourth whiskey or yung club soda mo, at the very least, don't press the bell repeatedly. Oh, yan. Ayaw na lang pinipindot pindot pa ulit-ulit yung nakailaw. It's this sense of entitlement that can enrage the poor staff member. They task with catering for flyers everywhere. So, huwag kayong makulit na sa pag-order ng ilaw, pag ng call bell na yun o yung ilaw button. Pagka in, inon nyo yan, siguraduhin nyo sabihin nyo yung kailangan nyo tapos patayin nyo. Kasi parang nairita sila pag nasa ilaw palagi. Pero trabaho naman nila yun dapat no? when you think about it. Well, okay. Sabi ni River sa book niya, my, my biggest pet peeve is when people are too needy. The ones who act as if they need their own charted plane because everything is all about them. They want instantaneous service despite the fact that there are 100 people on board the aircraft. So, nairita sila sa utos ng utos, di ba, sa airplane. Sino naman hindi na nairita sa ganun? Pero kasi talaga, yung mga ibang pasahero, kukulit talaga, paulit-ulit. Imbis sabihin na lang in one breath ang kailangan, pa iba-iba pa. Yun ang nakakainis, right? Okay, number 18. You really do need to turn off your electronics. Okay, well... Kasi di ba, pinapahala, hayaan naman mag-tablet, mag-laptop, kasi minsan may ginagawa kong trabaho. Bakit naman? Think that request to turn off any electronic devices is just a load of old hooey? Think again. It really does help to ensure the safety of everyone on board. Ah, and in her revealing book, itong si Joanne Rivers na flight attendant said, she blew apart the theory that the whole electronic interference claim is just a myth. Ito ang naman pala nag-interfere. Communication between air traffic control and the cockpit can be interrupted due to electronics. So, hindi naman pala yung fake news. Not just from one person, but from a joint effort of all the electronics passengers have. It matters a great deal that passengers, okay, should place electronics in airplane mode during taxi. Oo nga, pag maandar pa lang yung aeroplano, dapat naka-airplane mode yung phone nyo. But during taxi, take off and landing. Kasi yung safety ng pasahero is at stake. Mag-i-interfere talaga yung signals ng cellphone nyo, ng kung ano. Kaya dapat naka-airplane mode kayo. Yung laptop nyo, 
kung mag-take off and landing, right? Okay, and it's all, all for our own good, okay? So, kung dito, so totoo yun na dapat patayin niya muna. Pag mag-landing na, ako alis. Okay? Uh, number 17, plain food isn't good for the diet. <laughs> so, sabi nila, okay? Turns out pala that plain food isn't just, well, a little taste of Tasteless, pero unhealthy daw. Sabi to ng mga stewardess. Apparently, hindi naman yan totoo. Because may nutritionist pang hinahire ang panagaya ng Philippine Airlines. May nutritionist sila to plan the food. So, nang sinasabi na itong mga flight attendant na to. Apparently, it's also rather unhealthy, sabi nila. That's recording to Reddit poster who claims to be a flight attendant. The person in question claimed, even in training, we are told that airplane meals are nutritionally useless because of the salt, sugar, fat, and simple carb content. That's not true because airlines hire their in-house nutritionists to plan the food. So, hindi naman, hindi naman. Okay? Next, prefab container homes. But if you think that's bad, then wait until you hear about the drink situation. Ayan nga. Ayan naman talaga. Aminin ko, may set abusado yung mga pasahero minahingin ng drinks. Eh, pero kasi naman sa first class, unlimited drinks sila. Ano pa, alcoholic and beverage. Alcoholic beverage and non-alcoholic. Kaya sa economy naman, makakahingi ka ng water, ganyan. Pero, uh, well, you can still ask for for drinks anyway. Pag, pagkadaan ng card kung kailangan mo. Ikaw na nalapit ko. Right? So, uh, in the same uh, Reddit thread, a person claiming to be a pilot naman commented, Don't drink the coffee. The water comes from the onboard system that has the fill port right next to the port of laboratories or drain from. Ew! The water system routinely fails. Okay. Gross naman yan. Don't drink the coffee. Kasi yung pinagkukuhan ng tubig yung katabi ng laboratory. Totoo ba yan? Maka naman hindi. Okay. Next, number 16. Avoid the chat-up line. Ano ibig sabihin? No, the flight attendant's beaming smile and polite customer service isn't an excuse to hit on them. Yun nga, yung uh, masyado friendly, chika-chika may mga press ko minsan sa aeroplano. And no, they haven't taken a shine on you. They're just doing their jobs. So, hindi, dapat mga tao hindi nyo isipin na nagpapakit sa inyo yung steward, yes or yung steward. Brushing off chat up lines <coughs> is all in a day's work for having food. Excuse me. Okay, I'm <coughs> Excuse me. More than me. Okay? So they're just doing their job. Brushing off yung makipagchika-chikahan na uh, iwasan. Although some flyers can even stray into sexual harassment means that. Kung galo, umabot sa ganun, right? Passengers compliment me frequently. So, nabi to ni si Reverse na sulat ng article about flying. Uh, she revealed in her tell-all book. They tell me I'm beautiful or I have a pretty smile. I thank them and that's the end of it. Huwag ka ni makipagkwento pa. Diba? Anyone assuming their favorite corny one-liner will lead something, lead to something more is probably better off saving their energy. Okay? Alright. Number 15. Okay? Some flight attendants have a secret sleeping cabin. Ah, talaga. Okay. In 2019, a Qantas trip from New York to Sydney broke the world record for the longest uninterrupted flight ever made. Wow. On that occasion, 50 crew members and passengers were on board for the whopping non-stop 20-hour journey. But how do flight attendants manage to get some shut eye during such grueling stints in the air? So, nga, paano na kapag straight 20 hours kaya? Let's find out. Well, thankfully, staff aren't forced to sleep in full view of their passengers or crouch down among all the used meal trays. One person revealed on a Reddit thread, there is a secret cabin for us upstairs where we take a nap for sleep. It's only on most international flights, though. Pretty cool when you think about it. Okay? So, yun. Talaga silang may secret kulugan pala. Ah, I see. Do you want to... Okay. Next number fourteen. The job is intense. Ayan siya sabi na mga stewardess. Ito nga naman masakit ng pamilya, di ba? The end of the day. 
traveling all over the world is fun, right? Well, not if you're a flight attendant because there's that intense schedule. And there's that yung pangangawit ng ano yan, saka pang paanakatayo ka. A commentator claimed on Reddit, we can work up to eight days in a row if they're all if they're all two sector two sector ano ba yan? we can wait uh, we can work up to eight days in a row if they are all two sector short haul how short haul routes meaning dalawang segments okay we can also work up to four flights a day or operate two 15 hour flights in four days regulation is that we have 20 minutes of break every 12 hours 20 minutes na ano ko ano lunch break 20 minutes So yeah, no. Of course, this also makes uh, having a personal li life near impossible. Hold on, bear with me, please. Okay. There, oh, there's the typical. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Let me just show. Oops. Okay. Hold on. Ilalagay ko lang po yung picture. Just bear with me. Yeah, you got it. Ayan. Ayan, o. Kung ano naman. The flight attendants are so tired. Hi. Hi. Oh no. What happened? I'm going to do that. Mm. What did I do? Yeah. Okay, okay. So let's go. Oh God. Sorry. Okay. Ayan na po. So yan. So yan. Yan ang mga secret ng mga flight attendant I was talking about. The secret things that flight attendants don't want you to know. I mean, the airline. Well, of course, we know that the flight attendant's job is intense. It's not a joke. Traveling all over the world in a long flight. We can work up to four flights a day or operate two 15-hour flights in four days. Regulation is that they have 20-minute break every 12 hours. So, next, okay. Of course, that this also makes having a personal life near impossible. Para sa mga FA po talaga, wala na silang personal life, pero lalo na pag pala yung biyahe nila international. In 2020, flight attendant Stephanie DiMano Fricato told Best Life that not being in control of your schedule and your life was one of the hardest things about the job. So, yan po ang buhay ng FA. <clears throat> she also named working with people you don't want to be around, having a temperamental passenger, and getting the calls for last-minute trips that pop up among the worst aspects of a chosen career. Talaga kasi minsan, ba, alis na alis na lahat ng tao, may inaantay pa sa, sa airplane, nakaka-ease yung ganun. Tapos pag, pag nakita mo yung taong late, gusto mo talaga yung puros dagger looks, di ba? Okay, so, uh, we think we'll put our application, uh, di ba? Uh, we have, have to apply patience talaga pag ganun. Pero, yun ang nakaka-ease pa, yung mga pa-importante, yung mga pasahero. Okay? Number 13, flight attendants can't give you an upgrade. Okay? Marami kasi nakikiusap ka iso. Trying to charm a flight attendant into giving you a business class seat? Sorry, but you're barking up the wrong tree. You see, the cabin crew doesn't actually, don't actually have any authority on matters. Reverse rope. 
I'm not the person who makes the decision to upgrade someone as the gate agent and other determining factors. Well, so, ano yan talaga? Kasi yung mga iba talaga, di ba nagpapag-goody-goody to shoot, nakikiusap, lalo na kung yung celebrity or sila, may mga pwedeng upgrade. Well, not really. I think, you know, I've, I've experienced being upgraded to first, to first class or to business class kasi because of the inconvenience of minsan yung faulty na, na, na silya. Okay? Nakaupo na ako noon, Philippine Airlines flight, and hindi mo ma-recline yung seat. A 16-hour flight yun. Parang, parang ano naman talaga, inconvenient. So, I got an upgrade. Kasi meron maluwang pa rin sa refresh ka, kalipat ako, yay! So, those things can happen, alright? Well, but sinabi pa rin ni Rivers that does, uh, uh, she offered an advice that on, on how, paano niya mag-woo yung mga employees on the ground instead. Rivers does offer some good advice on wooing employees on the ground, yung mga ground, ground attendants. And yet again, it's all to do making a great first impression. Uh, she says that I would guess that someone who dresses professionally is more likely to get upgraded than someone who has jeans and sneakers. Ito ano lang niya, kasi appearances masyadong ano, diba, excited sila sa appearances. Hindi na alam yung naka t-shirt na butas pa nga doon sa jeans na butas, butas billionaire. Nag-incognito lang siya, sumasakay siya ng ganun. Maka economy pa. Well, that's how to test people also. Okay. So next, if a flight attendant has gone above and beyond for you during a journey, okay, so, so lahat na sinamahan ka, you may want to show your appreciation. Okay, Keep any change or notes that you have in your pocket though, as most airlines don't allow their cabin crew to take tips from passengers. Okay? So ano kaya yun? Kasi siguro yung ano nila, pulled yung kanilang resources, no? Iniipon yung mga tip, ganun ba yun? So, there's always a better way to give your thanks if you want to praise the guy or gal who served you. Yes, and I think mas mabuti pasulatan yung airline. Alamin nyo lang yung name na gusto mong higyan ng treat, no? Uh, kasi you want to show your appreciation, okay? So, keep any change you know that you have in your pocket. Though as most airlines don't allow their cabin crew to take tips from passengers, Okay, you know, there's another way naman to do that. Doon mo nalang mismo mo abot sa airplane. Secret na lang kaya. Again, in her book, si Rivers wrote, If your experience, okay, was so great that you want to tip, please take the time to write a complimentary letter to the airline about the flight attendant and your experience. That can be more valuable to members of uh, the staff than a couple dollar bill. Uh, and explain the reverse that companies have incentive programs that employees qualify for when they are singled out for giving great customer service. So, you All right. Flight attendants' grooming requirements are more relaxed. Okay, and ibig sabihin. That air of glamour that still surrounds flight attendants, well, it may have something to do with their appearance. Back in the day, you see these women, and they were very pretty much, very pretty much all women, usually had to meet extremely strict grooming guidelines. It's true that the employees were judged negatively for their, for their weight or age, okay? So thankfully, that kind of discrimination is no longer valid, okay? No longer allowed. But, but the way you look uh, is st still deemed important by most major airlines. Rivers wrote, during flight attendant wearing, uh, there is emphasis put on a appearance and professional presentation. Some flight attendants try harder than others. This is true. Some are, I know, too excited or do they get too involved. I think so. Number 10. Planes, oh my God, this is shocking. Planes aren't as clean as you think. Bakit? No? Kasi, the inside of a plane may be scrubbed from top to bottom after each flight. But those, that, those cleanliness, those cleanliness levels drop dramatically the moment the first passenger steps on board. 
for that reason, then one commenter on, commenter on Reddit asked people traveling in the air to avoid walking about and without any shoes or socks on. And if you're still not convinced, you should really, really read what they have to say. Okay. So, was that the last one? I know another 20 things. Pee and poop happens all over in Tandaan no, mga nanay. The individual who claimed to be a flight attendant revealed on Reddit. I feel like I witness an accidental regularly in their seat and the... Oh, sabi niya, I feel like I witness an accident regularly in their seat or in the bathroom. People get nosebleeds or their wounds open. Obviously, when you land, the plane is thoroughly clean. But in flight, our resources are limited. Okay? Not many can join the Mile High Club. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Joining the Mile High Club may be a fantasy for many, but it's one of the very few fulfilling according to flight attendants. For one, cramp, for one, cramp tiny bathrooms make sure and ex, uh, make such an act extremely uncomfortable, okay? Ano ba yung Mile Club? It's one of the very few, very few fulfill according to flight attendants. So, nagsisiksi ka sa isang banyo? Or, or yung pila, ang haba? And apparently, it's easy to spot the signs when an amorous couple want to act on their instincts. Ayun pala, yung binabantay yung mga banyo sa mga nagpukulong ng mga lovers. You know? All right. In her book, Lucy Rivers, called Cruising Attitude, Tales of Crash Pads, Through Drama and Crazy Passengers at 3,500 Feet, Flight attendant Heather Poole, and Benefal Don Mr. Rivers, touched on the subject. Uh, she wrote, it's usually a long line of people waiting to use the bathroom that gives you away. And nine times out of ten, it's passenger who asks the flight attendants to intervene. Strictly speaking, it's not against the law to join the Mile High Club. But it's against the law to disobey group, group member commands and you know, even partake of a uh, Ano talaga eh, hindi, hindi talaga. It, it's against the law to, dis, to disobey yung mga crew member commands. Hmm. So, yung mga nagtatago sa mga, uh, minsan, di ba, yung nakikita na natin yung mga stories na narinig natin when couples na, 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 na uh, iinip sa biyahe, yan, minsan nagpukulong sa banyo and all that. Please, simply uh, observe naman uh, crew member ko na. Kung so, huwag na kayong mag, mag mga quickie-quickie o labi-dabi na sa mga banya ng, ng airplane. Okay? We were told one in the air were two on the ground. That's the rule about serving alcohol. Okay? One in the air, two on the ground. Yun pala ang two for one so ano uh, rule about drinking alcohol that members of cabin crew often go by on a flight. So the rule of two and one, okay, one and two. Yes, well, they may be able to sink a half dozen beers before getting tipsy at home. That number is likely to reduce by half when you're up in the air. All right. Kasi iba talaga, mayroon kang talaga sa sayo, hingi ng hingi ng alak, hingi ng hingi ng wine, okay? Then sa first class, no? And the flight attendant, tandaan niyo po, the flight attendant serving you alcohol would actually be breaking the law if you ended up drunk. A, comment, a commenter revealed on the Reddit, Reddit thread, it is illegal to be intoxicated on a plane. And it is illegal for us to get you drunk. Sabihin niya ng, yan ang line dapat ng stewardess. Na, na, dapat sila marunong mag-control na, na kung hindi na tama. Right? Done. It is getting so hot in here. Nakalak ba yun ako? Comment section. Ba't di makapag ano? Na may respect sa ito. What is wrong? Okay naman. Okay, it's good. Okay. So, where were we? Okay.
Uh, nasa number ano na tayo. And flight attendant serving you alcohol would actually be breaking the law. Tandaan yan, if you ended up drunk. Okay? Ang masisisi niyan talaga yung flight attendant na bigay na bigay sa inyo ng drinks. A commentary built sa, sa Reddit na kasi it is illegal to be intoxicated sa loob ng aeroplano. So, if we cut you off, don't argue. So, it's illegal for us to get you drunk in the plane. We may serve you later if you're nice. Ganun. Number seven, flight attendants don't care where they're flying over. Okay? So, ang gaganda naman ng flight attendant na ito. Ever taken a break from the recent blockbuster to see which country we're flying over? Us too, okay? It's kind of neat to know. We can't even set out, uh, find out the altitude at which the plane is traveling, the temperature on board, and your estimated of arrival. But if these digitals aren't available, then whatever you do, don't ask the flight attendant. Okay? In, in dun po sa Reddit thread, no? Uh, about flight attendant secrets, one contributor made it perfectly clear that this particular question is a big no-no among their colleagues. Okay? Hindi to tinatanong sa magkakaka bigan katrabaho and they begged any potential passengers reading ah di ko po dito sa reddit please please don't ask where we are flying at the moment I don't know and I don't care either we will be there she says you know I think she doesn't want to reveal her itinerary kasi delikado naman yun but the fact remains that they will be in America soon okay next uh, truth that the stewardesses believe in and their employer do, do not know, don't expect the truth about delays. Flight attendants may not look devious, but that doesn't stop them from telling a little white lie or two. Oh no. If you want to know why your trip has, your trip has suffered some kind of delay, for example, then you may as well just pluck your own answer out of the air. It's likely to be as accurate as the info crew members are telling you, but these are, uh, alternative facts are good for the men. Uh, I get, I, I, uh, these alternative facts are being given to you for a reason na para malaman nyo. Hindi naman tayo, kung ayaw niyang maniwala, is okay, but it's just parang uh, guideline to tell you kung ano yung mga contention ng mga flight attendant at kung paano yung sila tratuhin din, no? Okay? On the Reddit thread, one person revealed when people ask for the reason for a delay, we usually give them bullcrap. Oh, because the real answer would would spook the passengers. Kasi. So, she sugarcoat nila ngayon yung situation. No? We may have a minor technical problem and engineers are on their way. But in reality, the cabin pressure isn't working. And that's so scary. The back cabin pressure, lalo pa sa pandemia. But I had an experience before. Sorry, sorry, screw Pacific. But my friends, my girlfriends, and I, we planned a trip to uh, Vietnam. We got, we got the airfare plus, ano, metro billion. Airfare, hindi pa lang they're booking that for me. Masta airfare plus, masta ito nakakasale yung tickets naman. And there were eleven of us, and we went to to Vietnam. Masakatawa because Siguro ilang minutes na lang before landing, biglang grabe yung turbulence. As in, sobrang grabe yung turbulence. And I've been sa traveling all my life. That was the worst turbulence I felt. Nakala ko magka-crash na yung airplane. As in, na sobrang nagigewang-gewang. Tsaka nagsishake na yung bone plane. Ang nakakatawa nun, nangyayari yun. But nobody was saying anything. No announcement on the... On the Diba? On the loudspeaker, walang stewardess na nagsasabi ng to calm down. Wala. Wala nang feeling ko, oh, bagsak na talaga na nagbasal na kami na nagbasal. Then after that, nung nag-landing na, saka lang sinabi namin ito ng turbulence ko. Nakakaloka yun. Because, of course, maybe they're, they're, they're afraid to say something na makakatakot sa tao. Pero, you're not saying also anything. Nakakatakot din yun, right? It gives you a lot of misgivings. Tapos, ito pang sabi ng stewardesses, ah, they'll never use most of their training. But, 
Oo, kasi hindi naman lahat ng airplano nagpa-crash para mag-swimming, swimming ka na training. It can take anywhere from 3 to 6 weeks for flight attendants to train for the job. Not that long, all things considered, but should it even be shorter? You see, flight attendants will never put the majority of the things they learn into practice or theory. And bakit? Siyempre naman nga kasi dahil hindi nangyayari, right? Uh, one person used numbers to explain just how little this information will be needed in real life. Sinabi nila, 98% of the training down ng mga FA is for the 0.1% of our job that we hope to never use. We've never trained to fight fires. We, we were trained to fight fires, treat medical emergencies, o nangyayari yan, no? evacuate a plane in record time, and much more. Trying to swim. It's good to know they're ready. Diba? Mabuting maalam na bakit minsan nagkakaroon talaga ng medical emergency may hinihimatay o na-attacking sa airplane. Marunong ka dapat ng CPR. So that comes to the territory. Okay? Number four, they pretend to change the temperature. Yun daw, inaayos na mag... Kunyari, inaayos yung airplane ganyan. Flight attendants must put on their best poker faces whenever chilly passengers ask them to increase the cabin pressure pag giniginaw yung pasahero. And while they may say, yes, sure, right away, Tapos kunyari daw, ina-ice-ice yung aircon. Asahan nyo, wala namang ginagawa. Hindi na yung tinapit. Kasi, ano yun eh, centralized. Hindi nila pwedeng pa painitin sa harap mo. Patayin mo na lang yung vent mo. Yun na lang ginagawa ko. Eh. Pag higilawin na ako masyado malawin, I just turn off that uh, that little window there. Yeah? Pero kasi nga daw, when the, when the, passive, when the FAs are pretending, kunyari, irregularize yung temperature, wala namang temperature yung bintana ng aircon mo eh. So, hindi nila yung gagawin daw. Crew have no intention of making the plane warmer and you'll be ghost up when you hear why. One contributor explained na when you ask us to change the temperature, we pretend to do it. Planes are generally colder because if we hit turbulence, tama, <clears throat> warm temperature will make the chance of someone puking much higher. Diba? So have an extra layer of clothing handy kung masukahin kayo, no? Human trains may be on board. What is that? Ay, human remains may be on board. Oh, gross. At totoo naman talaga, may mga lumilipad namin kasamang patay. So, eh, hindi na yung kailangan secret. Alam naman natin yun, we just don't know kung tayo sa ating uh, flight. If you see a white box being transported into a plane's luggage holding, then chances are there's a cadaver inside. That's recording according to one commenter, commenter on Reddit. And such a sight is more common than you'd think, too. Apparently, the average pilot flies around eight dead people every year. You're not happy to to think, right? But that's true. Okay. Ano pa? Try to avoid seats near the bathroom. Ah. Diba? Try to avoid seats near the bathroom because there's one perk of getting placed near the bathroom. Siyempre, yung mga ibang... Tayo lang tayo. Gusto nila malapit sila sa banyo. You never have to stray too far if you get caught short. But the, the cons far outweigh the pros. Pagka kang sabot-sabot ka ng banyo or tabi ng banyo, unang-una mo ah, yung may banyo. For starters, you may have to deal with seemingly never-ending line of people. Totoo. Nakalinya around you. So, pag malapit ka sa banyo, nakatayo sila lahat sa harap mo. Yung ngayon pang COVID, yung mga social distancing nga. Uh, eh, throughout the entire journey yan, okay? Then, of course, there's the near constant sound of the toilet flushing. But the grossest drawback of all relates to bathroom maintenance. A Redditor claimed, for example, when the toilet breaks down, the mechanics put all the toilet parts on those seats. Ugh. Their advice, never get seats from the ba- by the bathroom. Wag na, wag na. And the last but not the least, they hate being dismissed as wait staff. Ayan. Huwag yung tatuhin mga maid yung mga FA or, or utosuan niyo. Flight attendants can go through an incredibly intense training schedule. Isipin niyo na lang ang mga flight attendants na yan ay nagdaan sa training before being allowed on board. Someone claiming to be a member of cabin crew wrote also, if you score less than 90% on a written test, you are sent home. Tamo? Ang taas ng grade. My five weeks I spent at FA training were more difficult than the four years I spent getting my bachelor's degree. Also, extensive ang training ng mga stewardess. So, huwag niyo silang treat like wait staff. Now that we've heard what flight attendants uh, really think of their jobs and their passengers, 
let's take a look at their travel know-how, okay? As we've already learned, cabin crews jam pack schedules mean that they're at the airport a lot. Many even rack up an average of 30,000 flight miles each month. So it's fair to say they certainly know how to fly. And here are 40 of their best kept tips. Mamaya na. Matutuloy na lang natin yan po kasi napakadami pa kasi, okay? Yung pag-uusapan naman yung mga tip pa sa traveling, okay? We will continue that tomorrow because, yan, we have reached the end of our line. Napakabilis kasi ng panahon eh. Anyway, so, for uh, for those who want to watch <coughs> previous episodes po, we are on Facebook, ah, uh, we are on YouTube, sorry, the Brush Team Cast Communicators YouTube channel. <coughs> Wherein you can uh, watch past episodes pa na miss nyo. And of course, pag yan nakapunta na kayo doon, like and subscribe po <coughs> our page, please. So that we can, you can help us spread the word to more people and share our love and our concern and our and our stories and our information our so maraming maraming salamat po sa nakisama sa akin today tomorrow i will continue po yung travel tips at kung ano yung mga uh, advice ng mga flight attendants about traveling okay uh kasi we've already heard what the flight attendants kung ano yung na, what they think how they feel uh, Tingnan naman natin yung alam nila tungkol sa travel. Um, kasi many of them, kumag, kumag, ano yan, they work um, so, so many flight miles each month. So of course they know what they're talking about with regards to travel. So we don't, bukas po, pag, tutuloy pa natin yung mga tips nito mga FA bukas sa pag-travel. Okay, tsaka yung mga secret na naman yun na. So thank you so much. For joining me today, this has been Jay Bautista for Why Online, spreading the news and, and living in uh, this world with the use of technology. At the end of the day, po, magkakalimutan, three things should remain in our lives, and that is faith, pananampalataya, hope, pag-asa, and love for everyone. Thank you very much for joining me on a Monday. Papatuloy po tayo because I will see you again tomorrow. And tabayanan niyo pa po yung mga our shows ang pasunod-sunod na susunod sa akin po uh, and, and every day po from 7 o'clock to 11 in the evening uh, different shows here on God's Dreamcast Communicator thank you po sa uh, mga palagi na susupport sa atin ang kailangan ko kami si Agnes thank you, thank you see you tomorrow maraming salamat <music>